Hey, welcome everyone. What I wanted to do today was go ahead and do a quick review of Sophos MDR for the MSP program. Just kind of review the features and functionality that we have inside of the program for our MSPs. So what is Sophos MDR? Sophos MDR is just the next evolution of our MD MTR. Uh, that included all of our Sophos XDR, firewall, Sophos Cloud, email, uh, all of our products from Sophos that we were able to support. MDR now brings in the addition of our integration packs, meaning that you do not have to have your entire environment Sophos in order for our MDR team to take action and detect threats from those environments. So for the firewall, cloud service, email, identity, and network, you can leave the current services that are in place and continue to use the Sophos MDR for those. There are a few different service tiers. There is the Threat Advisor tier, which is gonna be available on termed only. We have the Sophos MDR, which is our first level tier that is available on the Sophos MSP Flex program. This does have a different uh, component to it than our Sophos MDR complete. When we talk our Sophos MDR, it stops at containment of the attack inside of the environment. We'll make sure that that device is isolated, that threat is out of the environment where it is no longer a risk, and then the rest of that falls on the MSP or the customer to finish with the initial remediation steps that are involved in there and best practices. The MDR complete will include a full scale incident response going all the way through where did this come from, how did it get on the environment, how do we get this off of the environment, and best practices continuing to move forward. Essentially, you'll continue to work with the Sophos team until that threat is eradicated from your environment. With that, there are some changes to our response modes as well. Most notably, the notify option has been removed. So you will see three options inside of there are collaborate, collaborate and authorize, and authorize option inside of the dashboard. So let's jump into Sophos Central and show you how this looks from a licensing perspective. Okay, so inside the Central Partner Dashboard, one of the first things we wanna take a look at is when we go into our managed customer usage and we go and modify a particular customer, we wanna change their license from the Intercept X Advanced to the MDR, you'll have some changes that have now taken effect inside of the change license wizard. So we're gonna come in and pick on the Datto company here. We'll hit the change licenses. And you'll now notice that the endpoint and server have been consolidated. They are no longer two separate tabs. And there's actually a reason for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and unselect everything but endpoint and server. And what we'll see here is on the endpoint and server option, I'll have first an option on here for Sophos Managed MDR Service or no Sophos MDR service. If I was to select the no Sophos MDR service, I will get two different boxes on here for my endpoint and server. And just like you could in the past, you could put you know, Intercept X Advanced with XDR on your endpoints and you could have a different product on your servers. The extended support has also been bundled right into this component here. So if you need extended support for those Windows 7 2008 environments, you can add that right here. Now, if we were to select the Sophos MDR service, you'll notice that our endpoint and server option go away. With Sophos MDR, you will not be able to have mixed estates. If you are an MDR complete, both endpoints and servers will be on MDR complete. There will be no option for having MDR complete on the servers and only the MDR service on the endpoints. So it is across the entire estate. If we are gonna go in on here, select the MDR complete. Again, both endpoints and servers are now gonna be set up for MDR complete. Again, you will still have your option in here for uh, extended support, except for with MDR complete, that is going to be required. We wanna make sure that we can get updates on those systems and that we can perform uh, to the best of our ability as well. You'll also have another box on here for the increased data retention. By default, you will have 90 days of data retention on there. This will give you the ability to have one years of data retention inside of the XDR if needed or required by any compliancy inside of your environment. 
So those are gonna be the biggest changes as far as licensing is concerned. The biggest one being that once you go to Sophos MDR, again, there are no more mixed estates. Everything is on MDR complete or everything is on MDR. Now, if we come into the settings and policies, the only change that has happened here is if we come under our threat response section, you'll notice that notify is no longer available. Your collaborate and authorize will be the default option. I definitely recommend if you are utilizing collaborate that you check that box for authorize. What this means is if our MDR team is unable to reach out to anyone on your authorized contact list, that they will start to take action on that. You will authorize them in the event that they cannot contact anyone on your team to go ahead and start to take action against that threat inside of your environment. We don't want them to have to wait until possibly Monday morning when somebody gets back to them to continue to work on a threat inside of a your customer's environment or inside of your environment. If you have any questions on this, please reach out to your MSP team. We're happy to ask any questions that you may have. And again, have a great day.